In today's video, I am going to be breaking down one of the most popular basketball plays that is being used right now at the university level in the States, but also what I've been seeing a lot at youth basketball games. So let's get down and let's check this out. Now, the main reason for the rise of this basketball play is because it is used very frequently as a five-out offense, and the five-out offense is gaining massive popularity right now. If you want to get the complete guide to the five-out basketball offense, make sure to go check out the link down in the description below. So this is called the Zoom Offense, and there's a few different ways that you can actually set this up. Most of the time, how a lot of teams will set it up is with the center at the top setting the main dribble handoff screen, but we're going to get to that in a second. This is one of the ways that I like to set it up myself with my U14 team. And I will be releasing that playbook very soon down in the description below. But first, how does this start? Well, we are going to start with a pin down screen on whichever side that player one calls for the play to be ran on. This is called the zoom offense. We're going to have player five set that pin down screen. And then we're going to have player one dribble roughly over to the elbow of the key maybe just a bit farther out and player two is going to be coming off of this pin down screen here and the dribble handoff that is happening here he's going to receive that ball and then how i like to have this set up myself depending on the situation if the big man is down low setting that screen, he is going to be the one who is rolling towards the basket. While player one is the smaller player, he is going to be the one who is popping out for that three-point shot. So player one would be rolling out. Player five would be rolling towards the basket. Player one is going to be then dribbling out towards this side. And now, depending on how the defense is set up, he could hit player five with the pass and layup, or he could take the three-point shot himself. And there's a lot of different ways that you can actually set this up as well. So with my U14 team, we do run a four-out offense as well, same as my U11 and my high school teams too. I run five-out and four-out across most of my teams. I do put in a couple of set plays as well that are outside of those two offenses. But from there, we may start running the four out like this as well and get it into a zoom style play. So player five is going to be popping out and receiving that pass. At this time, we're going to have player one setting a pin down for player two. And player five is going to dribble over and setting that dribble handoff roughly around that free throw line extended or elbow. Player two is going to be coming off of player one's screen and player five's dribble handoff. And in this case, player one will then pop out towards the corner. And because player five is the big, he's going to be rolling towards the basket. This is going to free up a couple of different options, especially if player five's man hedges. If player five's man is hedging towards that ball handler, we're going to usually see player five wide open rolling towards the basket. This is going to allow him to set up for a dunk or a layup, or if there's a help side defender, in which case he would then be able to kick it out for a three-point shot or an extra pass for this player to hit the three-point shot as well. Now, the beautiful thing about the zoom offense is the fact that, let's say they recovered, they were unable to get that shot off in one of these three spots. Well, with player five coming off, or at least trying to set up that five out once again, because with myself personally as a coach, I prefer my players being able to go back into a five out offense after a set play doesn't work. This can now set up a staggered screen zoom play, where now we've got a staggered screen Player 5 can come off of that staggered screen. Player 4 can then dribble in and do a dribble handoff. Again, still a zoom action with player 5. And that should create enough space for player 5 to get a shot off, potentially drive to the basket. Or with player 2 and 1 clearing out, this could open up, especially with a hedge man, player four rolling towards the basket where he could receive that pass for the layup or 
again help side defender kick it out for a three-point shot. Now I have seen some teams run it this way as well and this is actually a very interesting way of running it. Player 5 pops out and receives that pass from player 1 and player 1 cuts towards the basket. When player 1 is cutting towards the basket, player 1 goes down and sets a staggered screen with player 4 and 3. Player 1 is going to be coming off of that staggered screen and player 5 is going to be setting up the dribble handoff. When player 1 comes off of that staggered screen and dribble handoff, depending on what his defender is doing, where he gets stuck on which screen, he may be open to drive or take that 3 point shot to the rim or potentially with the hedge man and player 4 three and four clearing out this could leave player five open to roll towards the basket again for an easy layup there's a couple of different options here and should be able to get your team some easy points now this next and final play that runs out of this zoom style offense is very advanced if you're coaching a senior high level or college or university, this next play could work extremely well. I use an elevator screen in, an, in a horn style offense myself with one of my teams, and this is a fantastic style screen that you could actually run in this style offense. So let's get down. So again, player five is going to be popping out and player one passes him the ball. He then cuts towards the basket, and when he cuts towards the basket, player four and three are going to come together and set up an elevator screen. Basically what that means is player one is going to run between them and they're gonna close right behind him like elevator doors and player five is going to be dribbling towards this side. After that elevator screen, player one is going to come off that dribble handoff and he could be wide open to drive or potentially hit that three point shot. Now, after player three and four clear out and after this dribble handoff, depending on where his man now is trying to potentially trying to recover anyways and maybe they switched off because player one may not have been anywhere close, Player 5 can then roll towards the basket, and this could be an open layup or massive mismatch if they switched with player 5. I hope that these basketball plays help your team win more games. Make sure to go check out my complete guide to the 5-out offense down in the description below, and I'll see you guys again next time.